Hello everybody, thank you for being here and it is a pleasure for me to share this video with you. This video will be related to this uh, 1966 uh, Chevy Biscayne and will be about uh, the seat, the front seat. Uh, I already had this video in Spanish in case if you don't speak English and you are watching in Spanish so yo tengo este video en español en caso que ustedes lo quisieran ver. I would like to, uh, uh, by accident, I delete like 48, 47 video re related to this uh, project, uh, related to the seat, front and back seat. So I didn't delete it all. And the way I delete it, it is like impossible to bring it back. This is how uh, it, it was this uh, beast king. I have a video related to the headliner too, the whole process. And there is the carpet. I am not going to uh, show you a hundred percent guy because uh, like I said before I delete a uh, 48 47 video related to this seat this is the front seat I made the uh, the, uh, the seat from uh, all new same thing with the back uh, rest uh, the front seat and then, then on the back I made only the bottom cushion new then the lean back I just repaired the phone because it was in a good condition this will be fabric and vinyl. The center piece will be vinyl, and you can see the measurement right there, 9 by 25, then it's uh, 18 by 25, and then the right, the right corner is 8 by 25. Those are the size for those pieces that I will cut, will be on vinyl and will be on uh, uh, vinyl and fabric. The fabric is like classic fabric, and the customer picked this material. It is, it look good and you will see at the end of the video how everything look i get so pissed off when i delete all those videos because i i have it in mind to make a nice uh it was a project a nice video but by accident like i say i delete it and even i buy a software to try to bring it back but it, like the way i did it it wasn't possible guys need to make a special design on the limbag and first, uh, you know, uh, I can uh, print this design on the computer, but the thing is that design it is so big, it's like uh, between 14 and 13 inches wide, and the uh, piece of paper is like 11 inches, uh, I think 11 total, but the print doesn't print all the way. But uh, most of the time I do everything by hand, I just work with the customer idea. And here is what I am doing. That piece that you see right there, it have the design will have uh, 13 between 13 and 14 inches. So I have to find a way where the center of that piece of chipboard that I have it on the table. And this takes time. But remember, if it takes time, that means you have to sharp a lot. Not a lot, but a something resonant. So that is the center of that piece of, of sheetboard. Now I have to draw some line. And uh, those square, those marks are not equal, are not symmetric. So uh, if you made it equal, uh, it doesn't make sense, you know like flame, flame when you're going to draw a flame, you know real flame are not, uh, are not equal, so th that's uh, something that uh, uh, is going to be like right here. You see that line, it doesn't look straight, right? It's like half inch move to one side, and then on the other side, it's half inch move to the other side, see? So it's going to be same thing on the other side. And you uh, are asking what am I doing? What am I doing? Yeah, you will see right now what I'm doing. Just about time, you see? Now I have to draw some line. Same thing on the other side. Uh, when you're going to make a design, 
on the limb back on the bottom cushion you have to have you have to know that side already because basis on that design you will cut the material basis on that design you will cut the material any design you will cut the material follow, uh, following that design and you have to have like a the, the kind of the picture on your mom or on your mom already how it's gonna look at the end He had 12 line uh, has six line that that square right there six line and i am measuring making sure those line look almost the same but uh, uh, if you get the measuring tape and measuring the distance between one to another one are a little bit different <coughs> now i start uh putting some mark and i'm going to do that all uh, all on those lines good that i didn't delete this video this uh video because uh, this is so important this design is so important because i am making like a, a, a pattern or template because i have to make four pieces and those four pieces will be equal the four pieces will be equal but that design those line with the distance between one of those marks to another one are not the same but the four pieces it has to be the same so that's what I'm making like a pattern. If it, this was only one, uh, it's not necessary to make a pattern if you are, I only making one design, one piece, one design. Plus the customer is gonna bring his truck to make that uh, almost the same design. So that's what I am making this pattern. Now you are having like an idea, what is this about it, about? see now you uh the secret has revealed this it is a spider web it is a web and you can see him on there i have to uh, make some hole on that part because i have to get the same design get that uh, template put that design on the vinyl for the limba, the top piece of the limba, there is where uh, we'll go that, uh, that design. And you see all those measurements right there? That part, when I cut, when I trace the cover, when I trace, trace the fade, the side panel on the phone, I didn't record, I recorded but I deleted by accident. So I am not going to show you that part. So right here, I'm going to use a special tool. I use this tool when I make like a hole for the speaker. That's what I use to, this tool. And it is like a socket, like a punch hole, but they have like a different size. The side what I will use right here is one A. And I will cut all those so I put you saw me put some mark in there. So I am cutting. I have to cut. This it is this it is uh, time consuming, but when you are uh, uh, drawing this design on the vinyl, it, it is so easy because you already had that pattern. So see right there. And I have to do a lot of things in there. So that's the way I draw. I made those holes in there. All of those holes. That's the way I made it. I 
I'm going to uh, draw the same thing on the vinyl. And then I will put a half inch foam thickness. That's, that's what it is next. So I'm going to cut the pieces of the seat right here. You know those pieces, the bottom cushion has 25 by uh, 9. The center piece, then the side panel has 25 by 8. So I am drawing those pieces. And then I will put half inch, uh, half inch uh, thickness foam. And I'll piece it for the bottom cushion and I'll piece it for the limb back, for the back rest. That is the foam that I will use. It is a good foam. And I am uh, uh, putting glue because I want those two pieces to stick it together strong. Not a lot of glue because it is not necessary. The, uh, those pieces will be uh, sewing together so it's not necessary to uh, put a lot of glue in there then I trim all around and I cut all those pieces. To me, it is uh, easier to do it this way. A lot of people uh, cut the vinyl first, all those pieces, and then they put uh, glue and they put it together with foam. But to me, it is easier this way. I cut foam and vinyl at the same time. To do it this way, you see it has to be so sharp. Other way will create a blister in your hand. So I got those pieces done. I will, uh, this is the fabric that I will use, as you can see right there, it is a nice fabric and I will put a half inch thickness font, same thing. The whole face will have a half inch thickness font. And I'm going to put glue, I'm going to make that piece stay with glue in there. But something that you have to keep on mind on this one, I can put glue uh, with a problem. In some fabric, you have to be careful when you're applying glue. Why? Because if you put a, a lot of glue in, even if you don't put a lot of glue in there, guys, uh, the glue might come through it, through the other side of the material. So you have to be careful. On some fabric are so delicate. There is another way. If it, that is the case, there is another way how you can put glue. But on this one, I can put glue on both pieces uh, without any problem. So it's not a big thing right here. And I put glue right here, same thing. Then I will cut those pieces, you know, uh, on this, uh, because it doesn't have pleats, I will cut that, those pieces ex exactly. If it has 18, I will cut, uh, I will give 19. Why 19? Because I will take half inch in on one side and half inch inch on the other side uh, when I am sewing. So I will cut them exactly. If, it, if this piece will, uh, will have pleats, that's different. So that is the design already. I just draw it on there and didn't record that part. No, I mean, I recorded, but I did. I deleted it by accident. And the way I delete those files, it's impossible to. It is like impossible to bring them back. I don't know if I am doing something wrong to try to bring them back. Even I buy a software just to try to get those files back. I just deleted it by uh, uh, pressing uh, shift and delete. And by deleting that way, is go away from your system. Sometimes when you del uh, uh, delete it, uh, select and delete and press the delete key, it go to a recycle uh, recycle bin. But on this case, is it wasn't on the recycle bin. So, but I am showing you right here what I what am I did. So by this point, your machine has to be in good condition. That stitch you don't want that stitch to be so big. Uh, it should be like five. Uh, I think five stitch per uh, per inch, six is small. It had to be small. Don't make it big. And I saw one lane already, and I'm going to keep sewing all those lanes like that. It's low. I'm making sure to go straight follow those lines. See, I am not tacking in there. 
because I won't make a nut behind. I use a special pencil to draw that thing. It is uh, called silver, silver, silver ink. Just type silver ink pencil, and you will find a lot in there. And Amazon, eBay, they have it so cheap. If you go to the store, to I think a staple or or a place where they sell like a postal supplies, they will sell those pens expenses. So don't buy them on there. Get them on Amazon. Are Fisher Silver Ink, that's the name. And that uh, mark, of uh, that ink come out easily with a uh, soft or with a uh, gasoline with or with a uh, lacquer thinner. Uh, lacquer thinner, mm, uh, I don't recommend it to use lacquer thinner to clean vinyl. Uh, Exactly, the vinyl is uh, really good because lacquer thinner tend to uh, fade out the, the color of the vinyl. So. I only use lacquer thinner when I'm going to paint plastic to clean the plastic or to clean other surface that I need lacquer thinner. But uh, other way I don't use it. I see it or, or to clean fabric. Sometimes you can clean the fabric without any problem. But to re uh, clean vinyl or leather, uh, I, I just use it like a once in a while, but I, I'm so careful because some uh, time tended to fade out the vinyl, color of the vinyl. So I got that, those first stitch first, and now I'm going to do the second part related to that uh, wet. So uh, this is easier, this it is easier because it is big. The bigger the, uh, the wet it is, easy it is. If it is small, harder it is to do this because it is small. Uh, I, I made it for uh, this kind of design, but big for a, a headliner uh, with a half inch font, and it was a big piece. Uh, to sew it, it was kind of a challenge because I had to put all the material inside that machine, and was uh, 60, that design was on the center. But the material was uh, we, uh, uh, the width was 60 by um, 48, and I was uh, uh, sewing that width. That the width was like a 32 inches. So imagine sewing that piece, that big piece in there. But that was harder. But to sewing was easy. But to dealing with the material, that was like a challenge. This it is easy because it is a small piece and you can see him on there. Just have to have the control moving to the slow. And make sure to make those uh, not to those thread behind. If you get like a measuring tape and measuring those uh, those uh, distance between one stitch to another one, another thing, uh, it's like a one one a uh, different, but that's okay. It shouldn't be the same. It shouldn't be the same. I made that on pur uh, uh, purpose because with the customer come and see some customers say, oh, they look the same, look uh, semantic and wet are not semantics so. that is still like a little bit easier but the smallest that I will do at the end that will take time because it is so small and the stitch has to be as small as possible to uh, then as, as then it, if it is that you are making the stitch uh, big uh, and this kind of small thing it doesn't make sense if it, the design is small, make the stitch, is the lamb or the stitch is small. And I have to put one more stitch in there. That would be the last one. And, and, and you see I'm drawing the line because I can see that mark in there, but the cam for, I know for the camera it is try too hard to see. And you see, I do it manually. 
you have to have a, like a kind of skill to do this. But don't worry if you are learning or you never done something like this before. Remember this guy. Keep on mind this. You never will learn or you never will get the experience if you don't practice it. Simple as that. Practice it. Practice it. That will make you get to the uh, to the way you want it. Remember, no, nothing is perfect. Nobody is perfect. But you will do that thing nice. You see in there? It is done. So now we'll start putting the, these pieces together. So right here, everything is fine because I got the video. The video, those video was in another folder. And I uh, didn't delete it. But the part that I deleted is when I trace those pieces on the uh, backrest and then the bottom cushion. When I trace it. <coughs> Excuse me, and then when I uh, prepare the phone, those uh, videos, those uh, uh, files are gone and are gone forever on my system because the way I delete it. If you guys are watching the, this video and you know like a program to how to bring those files back, because I had two program already, I buy two program and uh, and I contact the seller. And they say, uh, try it with this, but they never give me like a 100% answer for sure. If you buy this, you will get it back. Then they, they didn't tell me that. They say, buy it and try it. And I buy it and I try it and I couldn't. So I am putting these pieces together. You remember that uh, this is the, where the, uh, this is the limb back because there is the wet in there. And I am taking half inch. I give that amount, uh, that extra already. If you uh, if you are learning, keep on mind that, that if it, that those uh, parts from the bottom cushion or backrest are going to be plain, just cut them exactly. Then trace it all around the backrest and all around that bottom cushion. Just trace it. You have to give it like extra for that. But if you are making a put a lot of places on the insert, oh that is different. Don't cut them exactly. Give it some extra. Why? Because when you are sewing those places. The, uh, the the piece is going to shrink a little bit. Going to shrink. Let's say if it, the piece has 24 inches width, and you're going to put place in there two inches, two inches, two inches all the way, at least will shrink like one uh, three quarter. I would say half inch to one inch. That is the amount that is going to shrink. If you are using half inch. But if you are not, if you are using one inch for that, please, that's different. You have to give some uh, more extra. So I got that piece already. You see that is one inch, and I am putting together with the center piece with one stitch. You saw me if you watch my video, you follow me on, on YouTube. You know that sometimes I put a stitch all around the piece, but on this time you don't see me doing that. There are some section when you have to do it and when you can uh, get away. This time I am not putting the stitch all around because it is not necessary. Believe me, it is not necessary. You can do that, but here is one thing. You will waste uh, thread and you will waste time putting that stitch all around the vinyl piece or the fabric piece. So I got the backrest already, the f uh, face or the insert. So, and you see me right there, I trace already, this is the backrest, I already trace it, but that part is the part that I, I deleted by accident. So you see me before, I just put a stitch, and you see me right here, I, I am not going to put a stitch on top of that yellow mark. I'm just going to sew it, and then I will cut it at the end. I, I don't cut it right now because I don't want uh, where those pieces are meeting together the binary and the fabric fee. I just got them straight right there, my uh, coming and, and, and stitch, and I don't wanna do that. That's what I am doing this way. There are a lot of different technique, guys, that you can do it in, in upholstery. And you can see this guy were, uh, were this way, and this guy were uh, this other way, and that guy worked differently. So just watch, and you pick your own style, how you wanna work something that is easier and better for you. If you are doing this for hobby, 
that's okay if it take you longer. See, I am, you see me right there? I am putting a stitch all around right that part. See? It is necessary. Sometime it is necessary. When, if it, that piece were with pleats, up and down, you have to put that stitch. You don't have no choice. I recommend you to put that stitch all around. Why? Because you have a lot of stitch. And to keep it on place, on time, if you just cut it, uh, those uh, pleat stitch might unglue it, might unstitch. Uh, and right there, I'm making some cutting there. And, 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 and pay attention to this if you are learning about upholstery. You will see two ways how, how I put that banding on uh, that welcome in there. Like I say, if you are learning, watch video, watch somebody else working, watch other person, watch uh, other, go to other play how they work, and then you will get that, that idea. Oh, I like this, but I don't like this, and I prefer to work in this way. Pick your own style. See right there, how do I going to put that welcome? If you watch my videos, you know uh, a lot of time I do this on videos. A lot of time because it is easier. You are putting two, three pieces with one stitch. Okay. If you are learning about a poster, this might be a nightmare for you doing this way. But believe me, soon as you get it, soon as you practice it and you get that like, like, a little bit experience, you will find that this it is so easy to do it. You are killing three birds with one bullet. See? But for this required practice, you're not going to do this if you just, today you start learning about a poultry and by the afternoon you are, are going to do this perfectly. No, this requires a little bit of practice and experience too. But experience, practice, uh, we will get experience, you see? That welcome is done. Here's one more thing. Or you can do it this way. This is the normal way, the traditional way how you can put a welcome. Put the welcome in there, and then sewing all around. That's one stitch. And you have to do that with the, uh, uh, with the other part, or like that, you see? So I put that thing that is normal, that's the traditional ways, and I will now also in this way. You saw there two stitch, like double time. Imagine if you are doing five limb back, five backrest that is have like welcome. You will kill in time by doing uh, putting the three pieces at one time. So I got the apartment there, you see. And the limb bag is basically, it is done because it go with the staple all around. So that is the bottom cushion. You see, I trace them on there. And you see, I cut it, but I don't cut where the stitch is. And now we we'll put a stitch all around. This is normal. This is uh, a standard way. But this stitch, it is not necessary. Believe me, it is not necessary because it doesn't have pleats. But I am doing this way in case if you are learning. There are different ways how you can put all those pieces. This is the back, this is the tail of that seat. And I am putting those uh, uh, side panels together. Okay, this piece it is done. I'm going to put the welcome on the band, on the side panel, but I can put the welcome with one stitch too. Just uh, go to the, uh, if you want to see me doing this on the big pieces, uh, on both, I have a, a playlist with the name both interior or seat, uh, seat, and you will find a lot of video related to this, even a cushion with a lot of line that you have to make those mark match all those line match, I do it this way. I did this way. I have video related to this. So uh, if you are not doing this way, uh, feel free to practice it. I recommend you to practice. Remember, the more you know, better it is. The more you know about upholstery, 
the more if it, you are doing a for uh, for business for living the more you know better it is here is one more thing look in there i will make wrinkle in there see i made the wrinkle that is the corn of the seed it is very important sometimes when you are learning you don't pay attention to those little details but believe me when you are uh, when you do this for living and you do this a lot every day every week you do this like every year and you have a long time working on this you will get like a skill or you will get like experience and you will see by yourself that something work good if it work good keep on it keep it and keep doing it but if it doesn't work just get rid of those things so right here I will put that band with one stitch and this one way you can start by that boy for the center but I start from right here. You see, I put that mark in there. You see those marks will meet together. So right there, one on top of the other one. And right here is, is very important. You have to make those uh, stitches match. See right there? One on top of the other one. That same mark right here too, they have to match. You see right there? It match, that's important. Sometimes when you are learning this, it is hard to do it. And sometimes you don't get it. See right there, match. But believe me, if you don't practice it, you never get uh, you never get to this point. You will stuck and if it's, you get stuck and you get frustrated and and you don't keep practice, you never be, will get it. If you get stuck or something to give you a hard time, take a break, go through some water, come five minutes later with a fresh uh, brain. So I got that part in there. I don't like that part. To be honest, I don't like it. And, and I will explain you why. And you will see how I fix it. I put the cover. The cover will fix good. I trace the cover. Ah, oh my God. I wish I can have those videos to show you how do I trace it. But I have a lot of videos. How to trace, how to mark vinyl. or that seat look too flat a classic seat are flat and not like uh, today's seat that I have like a special uh, corn see it's too plain in there classic seat bottom cushion are plain but I don't like this believe me I don't like it. and I have to put something on top I want this to look flat but to have like a little bit of curl, a little bit of shape on the top. <clears throat> I will kill the angle, I will sand there a little bit. It is very important, very important. You know when, when if you sit a bottom cushion, it's sharp, the phone is sharp and it has piping, or it has piping, the customer will sit or the passenger side, the people go on the passenger side will sit and they will see a lot in there and sooner or later that piping is gonna uh, create a hole, it's going to scratch, it's going to rip and that's why it is very important to kill that sharp angle. So uh, if you do car interior and custom car, you know uh, we use this a lot, especially in classic car. Some classic car come with this. Most of those classic cars who had the original upholstery come with cotton. And I'm going to put cotton in there. There I can put like a soft or one inch phone that uh, 1.5 uh, pound of density. But with this will work too. And you will see it. So I got it right there. I'm making sure to get him on there. And you can see right now the top piece of that cushion, it, it changed the way how it look, how it look. It is not plain. I will put a wire on top. This seat, it is for the this Chevy, uh, Biscayne 1966. And on the back piece, it original are open, but the limba go in there and seal that part completely. So don't worry about if you see that metal in there. I will put a, a quarter inch in a uh, headliner material in there just to make it smooth. But that piece of the end won't show it. That's the way this seat is come. And first, I am getting the back part of the seat. I am attaching to the frame with hand ring and using a manual hand ring plier.
make sure to uh, put that cover in place when you uh, that cover is in the right place start putting some hand ring everywhere everywhere making tight get rid of wrinkle in case it is coming out with wrinkle but i don't think so uh, it's a plain c it shouldn't be uh, with wrinkle <coughs> First, I pull in right here. I put up a, a already made uh, piping on the bottom, just for the pull. If I don't use that ready made uh, piping, I have to put like a lifting, headliner lifting, then I put, have to put a wire in there. And you can get this piping uh, so cheap that it's so better to use this. Even today, though you know the new seat, or new bottom, uh, new seat cover, that you bought it from the dealer, it comes with piping or it comes with plastic already. So uh, there are different ways how you can do it. And I'm doing this all the way. Check the part in there. You, may, you, uh, you remember when I saw it, I made some wrinkle? That's what I made the wrinkle in there, and that especially on that corner. And I know, kind of know where the uh, corner is, that's why I didn't mark it. Because I made the, this kind of seat a lot, classic seat, I make it a lot. I, if you see a video, it's because I had time to make those videos. I had time to work and record that video, that job. But most of the time I don't have extra time to record. So what you see me, what you see me on YouTube or on video, it is a fraction of what I do on the real thing, the real day and, and every day. So this cover is done, uh, the bottom cushion is done. And the backrest, um, I didn't record, like I said, I, I still saying I didn't record. I don't know why I say that. The, the right thing to say is I recorded, but I deleted by accident. That's what happened. I don't know why I did say I didn't record that part. <coughs> Excuse me, so I got the bottom cushion in there, it is done. So I'm going to put them on the sand just a little bit, and that is the backrest. Like I say, I didn't make the whole phone new, but I repaired uh, at least uh, 80%. I didn't uh, change the other 20% because it wasn't necessary to do it, believe me. And I got the, bar, uh, the backrest in there. You can see them on there. This go with a staple all around, and there is a molding on top. I had to put the molding with Philip screw. And that molding go all around except on the bottom. If you are learning about a post, don't use a, a wireless screw gun to put uh, this kind of screw. Do it manually. I recommend you to do it manually. Learn manually. When I was a uh, start doing a post, everything manually. Nothing about power tool. Electrical tool, nothing. Everything it had to be manual when I was learning. The guy, the person who was teaching me, uh, told me, I have all that power tool in there, but you are not allowed to touch it. Only I can touch it. You have to learn the way I did it. He told me that. And I did it that way. And I feel happy because I learned that way. So you see, that cover is attached to that frame already. And there is part of the design. I wish I can show you 100% or at least 95% of this whole uh, in seat. But by uh, some time, uh, it is like impossible for me. Like I say, before I transfer uh, the video from the camera to my computer, and I select I think I select the file from my folder and for the computer, uh, the file from the camera, and I delete it. It's gone. And when I uh, select the other folder, uh, the folder that was already on my computer, the copy of, the, of this, I select it and I delete it too. Big mistake in there. Big, big mistake. So, but that is part of that I took picture. That is a picture. Good that I took those pictures. I am so happy that I took those pictures. Sometimes I don't take picture, And from now on, I'm going to take picture uh, during the process. 
and when the process is done in case if something happened but there is that thing you see i put glue but you see a lot of rain come on there and it's because the piece is big and i am moving when i am sewing but you can see him on there everything look nice everything look uh, the way it should be and I want to see the customer face when he see all this thing. He came a few days ago. He saw the headliner, and he was so happy, so happy with this thing. Uh, so let's see when he come to pick him up. There is the uh, back uh, seat. And if you see like a little bit of the material, it's like a folded, it has like a song mark. When the material or leather had that mark, just put him on the sun and everything will disappear. Some customers that I pay that are so picky that they don't want to see mark on the cover. But remember, even when you buy a cover from the dealer, guys, when you buy a brand new cover from the dealer, it's coming on a box and it's all folded. And when you unfold it and when you put them on, you still see those marks in there. So, but those marks later on will disappear. If it is leather, it will disappear. If it is a vinyl, it will disappear. If it is fabric, it will disappear. But if it is fabric, you can put a hot water, you can iron on those things, apply in here, uh, steam, steam, and everything will come out. So there is done. It is time to make this uh, because the kind of design that the backrest have, the backrest have it. But uh, it is time. But remember, if it's something take you for longer than normal. Uh, you have to charm a little bit more because it is not no, it, the design that you are doing. It is not normal. It is not normal. So keep on mind that if you make a bench seat, bench, bench seat, regular bench seat, then you charge like five hundred, six hundred dollar. So, but it's normal seat. The basic seat, same design. Look at right there. It's nice. But if you are doing the same bench seat but with a different design, that it will consume on double time. So you have to charge almost double. Check in there, guys. That thing look nice. My brother made a carpet. He made a carpet of this. He made a door panel. He made a great job. Uh, my I had two brothers who do car interior too. Uh, all of all me, uh, my brother and I, we started since we, we were little. Little, we were like a little kid. Seven years old. Ten years old, my brother. I have seven. I was uh, seven years old when I started uh, in upholstery. And I still learning, guys. I still learning a lot every day. Same my brother. I had two more brothers who do car interior and furniture. We do furniture too. And right there, look at the back seat. <coughs> Excuse me. It is nice. The whole car coming so beautiful at the end. And I record a video of the whole car interior, a, f a few different videos, a few, a different angle. But I deleted it by accident. And I get so pissed off when I try to look for those videos and I didn't see it. Look at the back seat. I wish I can show you how the, all this was before I start taking them apart was a big mess inside the car but that's not a that's not a big thing when they when the customer bring a bring a classic car and they want the whole interior they want us to fix it to create something so uh, that's normal when the car is a big mess sometimes they bring the car with a door panel with a headliner with a uh, carpet with a just bring the car with a seat frame and they give us a picture and they give me a photo they give me or they say oh i want this but i ain't not sure what do, uh, what do i want what do you what do you suggest me so i start working drawing showing him something and it worked like that sometimes uh, but most of them they bring the kind of design already and i just made some adjusted and they accept it but some of them they don't accept they want exactly what they ha have it on my exactly what they want but that's not a big deal. They pay me to do it. They pay us to do it. So if they pay, we do what they want. 
So there is then the rear area. I didn't uh, wrap those plastic with uh, with vinyl. That would be uh, excellent if I wrap it, but he didn't want me. So I just paint it. I just paint it. I use a special paint for plastic. But it is a process when you're going to paint something too. It is a process. You have to clean it good with lacquer thinner. You have to sand it. You have to uh, apply some base in there, and then you put that paint on it. So uh, this is all for all the, for this car guy. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you understand what happened. You know my style. I try to ch uh, show you everything from the beginning to the end. And uh, I don't try to skip um, important point on my video. But this time I skip a lot because it was out of my hand. So thank you. And see you in the next video. This was this was a uh, um, four 19, uh, excuse me. It was a Chevy, uh, Chevy Biscayne 1966. 66. I have a video related to the headliner. So thank you and see you in the next video.